In this video, we will learn how to install NumPy library in Anaconda. So here I will show you two different ways to install NumPy. The first one is through Anaconda Navigator and the second one is through the Anaconda prompt or the terminal. So now this is my Anaconda Navigator and to install NumPy, first of all, we will click on this environments. Now here we will see all the environments which we have created through Anaconda. So here first we will create a virtual environment for our project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and then we will install the NumPy library inside that created environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment created for your project then you can skip the creation part and select the environment from this list and install the NumPy library inside that environment. So now to create the virtual environment first we will click on this create. Then this type of pop-up box will come up and here we will give the name of the virtual environment. So I will type numpy underscore env. So this is the name of the virtual environment which we want to create here. Now from here we can select the programming language and this python would be selected by default. And from this drop down we can change the python version. So whatever version we will select from here it will install that particular version in this new environment. So for now I will keep this as it is and now finally click on this create. So now the environment is being created. So let's wait for some time here. Now it is loading some base packages in the environment. So finally it is finished now and we can see our environment in this list. Now here this environment is already selected for me but if in case it is not selected for you then click on this and select this environment manually otherwise the library would not be installed in this environment. Now we will click on this drop down and here by default this installed option would be selected already. So which means that these are the libraries which are currently installed in this selected environment. So now we will search for numpy in this search option. So here we can see that we did not get anything in the search result because this numpy library is not installed currently in this selected environment. So now again we will click on this drop down and select this not installed option. So as soon as we selected this not installed option, we can see all the libraries here which has numpy either in the name or in the description. So let's scroll down a little bit and we will see this numpy. So this is the numpy library which we want to install here. So we will select this from here and click on this apply. Now we will get this type of dialog box which is saying one package will be modified and seven packages will be installed. So if I scroll down to the last then we have this numpy library and all the other libraries are the dependent packages of this numpy. So that's why they are marked with this star and here also it is written that this star indicates that the package is a dependency of the selected package. So now finally we will click on this apply which will start the installation and now this is installed successfully. Now we will verify the installation. So for that we will again click on this drop down and select this installed option again. And here we have already written this numpy. So in the search results we can see this numpy library here which was not present earlier. So this is the evidence that the numpy is installed successfully in this selected environment. Now we will see the another way of installing numpy which is through anaconda prompt or the terminal. So if you are using windows then it would be the anaconda prompt and in case of mac it will be terminal. So now I will open the terminal because for my case it is the mac system. Now when you will open the terminal or the anaconda prompt this base environment would be activated by default. And now here also first we will create one virtual environment and then we will install the numpy library inside that created environment. So to create the environment we will type conda space create then space hyphen hyphen name space and now we will type the name of the virtual environment which we want to create. So let's say this is numpy underscore new env and now at the last we will type space python equals to and now we will give the python version which we want to install in this new environment. So I will type 3.13 because this is the latest version as of now. Although this python argument is optional but it is best practice to provide this argument and the suitable version of python here. And now finally we will hit enter. Now here it is saying that these many packages will be installed in the new environment. So we will type y here and hit enter. So finally it is completed now and our environment should be created. So let's verify that and for that we will list down all the environments which are currently managed by anaconda. So we will type 
conda space env space list and hit enter so here we can see that our environment is also present in this list which is this numpy underscore new env so it means our environment is created successfully now we will activate this environment but before that let me clear the terminal once so that it would be better visible to you now to activate the environment we will type conda space activate space the name of the environment so i will type numpy underscore new env and hit enter so as soon as the command is executed we will see this numpy underscore new env, new env within these brackets which is the indication that this particular environment is currently active so now finally we will install the numpy library in this activated virtual environment so for that we will type pip install numpy and hit enter and once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation now to verify the installation let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment so we will type the command which is conda space list and hit enter so here we will see this numpy library as well which has this particular version and now we will quickly try to import this numpy library in the python shell so first we will type python and hit enter so now we are in the python shell and now here we will import the numpy library so we will type import then numpy hit enter so the import was successful without any error and now we will also print the version of numpy so we will type print then numpy dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and hit enter so here we have got the version also in the output so this is the evidence that the numpy library is installed successfully in our environment now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button and for free courses you can also refer the video description